Okay, this is the Cambridge End of Year exam um, construction question. Uh, it's question number 36, page 194, on the standard end of year test. Uh, we have a starting point for the airport, which is shown over here, in this region here, and the bottom of it is actually the airport. This line is actually a north line to show where we measure north from, and all angles on a bearing question should be measured from north. So this aeroplane, oh, uh, just a little thing, I'm going to have to draw this half scale to what they asked. They wanted 10 centimetres, oh, uh, sorry, one centimetre would be 40 kilometres. The first length is going to be 400 kilometres, and that's too big for my screen. So I'm going to halve it. I'm going to use um, one centimetre is 80 kilometres. That means that when I do 400 kilometres, I'm doing five centimetres. When I do 320 kilometres, it's four centimetres. And when I come to the end, we will go through quickly what the conversion should be. Basically, I need to double all the numbers on this scale to measure it accurately. So, put in the first bearing, uh, it flies out on a bearing of 140 degrees. Now, bearings, like I just said, measure from north. So we make sure that the zero is measuring directly up, and the point here is the position of the town. So I move it over, zero's point up, and I'm on the outer scale, measuring round to 140, and I put a mark at 140 to show that's the direction I'm going in. When I'm drawing angles, I try to show an angle mark, just a little arrow head to show where it is. Now, like I just said, you should be measuring a distance of 10 centimetres. I have to use four because otherwise this would disappear off the bottom of the scale. So I'm going to draw in my line with a pencil and it is five centimetres long. Uh, sorry, yeah, five centimetres in my diagram. On yours it should be ten. At this point they say the airplane, uh, the airplane turns Yep. So I need to draw in another north line. So it's a north line. If this was 140, I should really check on the other side that I'm going north, back bearing 140. I'm doing an angle 40 degrees, and my north line's going that way now. So I should really measure it accurately to say north line. So the bearing from the airport to this point is 140. To go back, it's all the way around the outside, less this 40 degrees. These are parallel lines, just to remind you. <coughs> from that point, we go on a bearing of 050. So it's a 50 degrees from north again. So again, rotate my protractor to zero pointing north. And then I want to put on an angle at 50 degrees, a little chevron. Just check, make sure it's a construction one. And I'll move my protractor out of the way. Uh, 320 kilometres at a ratio of 1 centimetre for 40. That would be 8 centimetres. But remember, I'm drawing half scale. So this is only 4 centimetres on my diagram. So I take the pencil, line it up, and I draw another line. Going back up to here, 40 through that point. And again, I should measure at this point. A return angle is 50 on the outside scale. So that's the return bearing. And that is, north is going this way. So I can put a little mark on here and draw my line. Get the protractor out of the way for the moment. So from this point where the end of the line is, I want to go up. I've got a mark up here, and that's my north line at the current position. That's my first part for my question. OK, next part, we need to do the distance for part B. Um, part B, it's actually about taking the distance along this measurement here. So I take the length. Now, remember my scale. So this distance here 
distance it is. On mine is 6.3, on yours it should be 12.6 centimetres then. Remember mine's half the size. So I'm just going to go create a quick note on a screen. Um, the last part is the last part of my video is to measure the bearing returning to return. So the return bearing is along that line, and this is an angle coming for 80 degrees from the top. But that's 80 degrees too much. So the total, the actual bearing is all the way around here, 360 minus 80 which is 280 degrees.